Hey guys, I was just on scrolling on YouTube, and saw a video discussing fat shaming, but to be honest, I myself haven't really seen anyone talk about skinny shaming, so that is what I'm gonna do right here, other people might have already made videos about this, and I might just not be aware, so please leave some other videos down below discussing similar topics, I will put the links in a pinned comment, before we start I wanna put a trigger. Warning, this video might include topics such as eat disorders, dieting, and other topics related to such. If you are sensitive to any of those then feel free to click off. Just know that I'm making this video to spread more awareness on this topic. Now without further ado, let's begin. I think nowadays. People think that anything pointing out an idol as to skinny is skinny shaming, when in reality, it is really not. There is a line between being concerned for your idol, and being an asshole. Skinny shaming in simple terms means criticizing a person on how thin they look. I think people should understand there is a difference between shaming someone, and actually being concerned. If someone for example said, you're like skin and bones. That is skinny shaming, but if someone is just very concerned, and wants to help the person, then that is not skinny shaming. In 2019 mostly, Rose got tons of hate and awful comments about her weight, with people saying she is skinny, and that she is just skin and bones. Things like this are skinny shaming and it very rude to say to someone. Lisa also got hate for her body. But I think that Rose got the most hate from what I have seen. Lisa actually went to a doctor, and he said she was underweight. So in that case, the fans were right. But they way, how y'all talked about it, and pointed it out is truly disgusting. I saw comments from people saying that she looks like a skeleton, that she is just skin and bones, and many more rude and awful things. Those are obviously unacceptable, and should not be tolerated. I get that you guys were concerned but this is not the right way to go. Y'all could have just kindly let Rose and Lisa know that we were concerned for them instead of skinny shaming. Sunmi, a soloist, also has had some horrible comments about her body. Sunmi is naturally skinny and she has been shamed for her weight tons of times. I think again, the fans were concerned but the way y'all said it to her is so disgusting. Again, let her know in a kindly and concerned way, do not say rude things about her weight because 1, it is not your body, and 2, some people are just naturally skinny, and can do nothing about it. I get that you guys got concerned, but skinny shaming her is really not the way to go, I think we should acknowledge. The fact that some people are just naturally skinny, telling them to just eat junk food to gain weight is so ignorant in my opinion. Gaining weight is not easy at all. Some people just have fast metabolism. Shaming them for it is not okay, and I do not understand why anyone thinks it is. I also think a lot of you guys forget the fact that K-pop idols perform all the time. They constantly need to dance on the stage and exercise, and that being skinny doesn't directly mean someone is unhealthy or has an eating disorder. The things about the K-pop industry is that it constantly touches a great emphasis on physical appearance and physical beauty. You see it literally everywhere, that it is so hard to ignore. I mean you see it in Korean TV shows, the visual position, etc. I think that we as fans should educate ourselves on topics such as this, learn the line between being concerned and just Blatantly skinny shaming an idol, know what your position is, you are a fan, not their parents and neither their doctors, in my opinion, getting concerned is totally fine, and is a normal human feeling everyone has, so telling people to just not be concerned for idols is also not the way to go, I think you are allowed to be concerned, but do not force the idols to eat more food, they are all adults, and are probably way older than most of us. They know what they are doing, and can make their own decisions. We shouldn't be invading their privacy whatsoever. I hope we can all educate ourselves, and stop this standard and shaming habit, which is not coincidental, which has a long time history, and is influenced by sexism, fat phobia, etc. The Korean entertainment industry pretty much glorifies horrifying diets and unhealthy bodies, which in my opinion is not okay. And just seeing those idols freely admitting that they are doing those unhealthy diets on public television, with the hosts and guests praising them for their perseverance and dedication about how much prettier they look, it 
just shows how being unhealthy is so normalized, and I think it should stop. Eating disorders and being unhealthy is serious. You could seriously die if you stay in such a horrible condition. The fact that most people just ignore such serious things should be stopped, and there should be brought more light and awareness to this topic. It is not just netizens and the culture pressuring idols, but them pressuring themselves as well. They will have this mindset that being skinny is the only way to be beautiful, when in reality, it is not like that. Those toxic beauty standards can seriously ruin someone's life, and I think this should be taken.